Hey there Seekers, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot and to your weekly intuitive tarot reading. Just before we head to that, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who has joined me for the initiation, my immersive four week learn tarot journey. It's been incredible to um, get the amazing feedback so far and also to grow that community of like-minded souls um, learning tarot with me and because I want to continue growing that at the moment I'm really in a growth stage I have extended the special price through till the end of September so uh, the first link down below will take you to a page so you can find out everything you need to know about it um, the value is really great and I'm not just saying that because it's my course <laughs> I truly do believe that from from what I've seen so I would love to have you on board and keep in mind you can join at any time guys um, it's intended to be a four week journey but you can jump in at any time and if you want to take longer than four weeks because you're probably really busy just like me you can absolutely do that you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on TikTok. Those links are down below as well. Uh, also, you'll find the link to my website should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself. I am available for those and would love to read for you. So I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead. Let's head to your reading. Virgo, this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for September 6th through to the 12th. Let's see what's on the cards for you, Virgo. Getting started here with the <laughs> Workular Oracle, getting away from me. I'll then be going to the Moonchild Tarot for Elite Tarot Energy before using the Rider Waite and the Star Child Tarot for your tarot positions. We have a few cards on the floor, so I'm going to take the top one of those as well. Let's do the Oracles here. First one out was Lemuria, creating heaven on earth, it's happening. Doesn't seem like it, does it, Virgo? But what we're actually really going through now is um, a healing of the collective shadow. So, you know, what we're seeing globally it may also be happening within you. A lot of, uh, you know, things or traumas or uh, patterns that don't serve you coming up to, to, being, to be purged, right? Uh, we can't um, integrate more of the light energy until we release the darkness. So that is the process, guys. And, you know, what we see on the world stage is generally a reflection of, of the, the micro of the individual. So you might be also going through a lot of shifts and changes. In a temple, well, I've just had this for Taurus and I said if I had a dollar for every time this card came out, I'd be getting somewhere. Um, tune into the portal of your heart with all the information that's going around about many different things in the world, it's really important for you to come back to your own inner wisdom and your own truth so that you'll really know what resonates for you. And we do that by quietening the mind and grounding into the body. So through meditation or um, doing something that you really enjoy so that you're in that flow state, like if you play a musical instrument or you like to do art, um, take a walk in nature, all of these kinds of things. And you might notice that it's in those activities that that insight that you need drops in or that you really feel what's true for you. So a really important reminder to really come back to yourself so you can feel what is true for you and operate in alignment with that. And I've got warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? So you might have a calling within you, calling towards a place, a person, a career, and maybe you're getting the insight that's the ace of swords there which can stand for um, thought insight inspiration maybe coming through intuitively for you for how to move forward in order to do that often we have to cut ourselves free or end other situations to make space for the new so you might be going through that process as well let's get that lead tarot energy Virgo for you we have got moon child okay the moon is all about intuition so I'm really sensing that this is about you connecting with your own truth through your intuition um, this can link to the moon energy as well which is that Piscean energy in the major arcana and that is all about um, revealing truths from within yourself or seeing through truth around you Sometimes it means that there can be things happening in the half-light, in the shadows. 
and it's time to shine a light on that, right? Maybe there isn't all the information that you need to move forward at the moment, but the more you seek within yourself, the more you'll feel was right for you and be able to make that move. Let's see how this may play out. That's an extra major arcana in the Moonchild Tarot deck, so it's not a traditional major arcana, that one. But it is a beautiful energy. Energy of the recent past. Yeah, <laughs> High Priestess. Okay. Well, that's just backed it up for us. Follow the, you know, tune into your heart. High Priestess, Moonchild. Your intuition is going to be really on form and on point this week. Ace of Cups, okay, we like that. Outcome, oh, the Empress. <laughs> Five of Wands is at the bottom of the deck though. Guys, the Empress and the Ace of Cups is a beautiful, beautiful omen. Five of Wands can indicate some challenge within you. We've got the Four of Pentacles. These are the clarifiers coming in. This gives us an extra layer of insight to the cards there. That's the full. The full. I think you had that last week, didn't you, Virgo? About taking leaps of faith. Five of cups there. Two fives. I'm going to get another one for that high priestess. Nine of cups. Okay. Mm. Let's get one more. A oh, ten of cups. Okay, I'm not going to get any more Three of Cups because the cards are clearly saying, like, Lumeria, like, creating heaven heaven on earth. Well, you've got the Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups here, and the Empress. So you have a real opportunity to move towards something that you've been trying to manifest. Now, this is a general reading, so it's going to be different for all of you. Um, there's not a clear indicator here, whether it's in a job or work or anything, a job or, or love. But with the, the cups energy here as our dominant suit, we're dealing in the realm of finding true joy, satisfaction and contentment and really high vibrational living, um, potentially through a new opportunity that's coming in. So this could be in any one of those areas for you, for example, a new opportunity in, in work or how to earn money that also brings you joy and you also love doing it. This could be um, a beautiful romance coming through for you that you can take through to creating a sense of home and family however however you like to do that no matter what stage of your life that you're in there's always a way to do that um yeah that this could be the one guys so that is very exciting and, and i feel like you've been manifesting this for a while the three of cups would indicate that you've been slowly sowing the seeds in the background so for example if you are wanting to meet someone romantically maybe you've been out there on online dating or you've been doing your manifestations if you've been looking for that dream job or wanting to call that in then you actually have potentially been uh you know upskilling doing some courses putting yourself out there networking and all of those things and that is going to pay off to help you answer this deeper calling right Pay attention to your intuition. We've said that a million times in this reading, but it's going to be on point, right? Um, there is a sense that you know this is coming or that you have a feeling things are about to unfold for you. Uh, the, the Four of Pentacles here can indicate that there is a little bit of fear or, or holding on to the past, in order for you to fully get ready to embrace that Ace of Cups, you're going to need to be open and you're going to need to potentially let go of the idea of something from the past, right? In order to embrace a new, that's often what we have to do. So don't, don't fear it and um, it is time for you to come out of the comfort zone. It is time for you to uh, stop armoring the heart or guarding your heart. It's time to open it and tune into it and see what the heart wants to move forward, right? That's the Four of Pentacles. It's time for you to play big. Now with the High Priestess, yeah, you don't have all the information about this when it comes in. Like maybe you don't know how that other person feels or you don't know how it's going to play out. You don't have all the pieces of the puzzle, but you're being guided to connect with this anyway, right? The High Priestess is the, is the Keeper of Secrets, so there could be parts of this that, you know, are still a wild card for you, but you can feel the potential, my goodness. 
Nine of Cups, the Fool called Starseed in this deck, and the Ace of Cups. So I feel like this is the week that you get some kind of offer. This could be, if you even have already started dating somebody, this could be when feelings are expressed. This could be when you get that offer of work that it's like, wow, that would make me so happy working in that way or working in that industry. There's a sense here that's going to transform your life for the positive uh, in some way and bring you great joy, happiness, satisfaction and contentment. And in some way, this is a, a wish come true. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's helping you answer a deeper calling. So there's part of this that you've wanted deep down or you've been manifesting in the background, whether you're conscious of it or not. Moonchild energy can be that it's a, actually been a subconscious want um, from within you. When this comes in with the full, you're asked to take a leap of faith on it or start walking that new path anyway. Don't get hung up on how it's going to play out, what the end point is, where it's all going, right? The High Priestess says all will be revealed in time. Be guided by the heart and how it feels for you. And um, that is the way to connect with it. So the Fool is about following your rebel heart and really meeting the needs of that rather than, you know, the needs of uh, society, expectations of others. This is your time, your time to choose what you want for, for love. But whatever this is, it's, it's going to fill your cup and make you feel incredibly good about yourself. So we've got a mixture here. We've got the Empress and the Outcome, Ten of Cups, Five of Cups. Oh, there's the Five of Cups again. I'm going to use that version of the card so you can see it. I'm going to start with these two, Five of Cups, Five of Wands. Two number fives at the end of the reading. Now, the fives in Tarot are the middle point, the point of change, the point that you reach where you can make a different decision to change things up in your life, to call in different energy, to determine what number 10 you get to, right? Ace is the beginning, number one. 10 is the ending and 5 is the middle point. It's what you choose to do now that's going to have you arrive at that 10 of cups. So if we uh, stay connected to the past because of that fear or we mourn for the past and what we've lost, what we've abandoned, what's been taken from us, then we're going to miss out on the 2 of cups, right? This opportunity to connect with this new this new opportunity. And by staying in the energy of the past, we hold ourselves sometimes in, in either negativity or depression or, you know, just cl a closed energy. And that's going to cause you internal conflict. It's going to consume your energy. So we want to avoid that. That's the, the advice here is to avoid slipping into that because if you can just open yourself to the new, this is the energy, Ten of Cups and the Empress. The Empress, when she appears in any reading, is an omen of uh, blessings, abundance, great opportunity. She wants you to create whatever this is that's on your heart and make it a reality for yourself. She's fertile and ready to deliver. If this is in love and you are at the, the time of your life when you are wanting and able to have children, this could represent fertility and conception. Um, for others of you, if you're meeting someone later in your life, this could be setting up um, a beautiful family home, maybe where you've always wanted to live with pets and some, you know, it's a beautiful sense of comfort and security between you and companionship. You can create that sense of family in so many different ways. Uh, whatever it is, it has the opportunity to deliver great happiness. The Ten of Cups is their ultimate reality of happiness, joy, satisfaction, feeling great and living a blessed life. Yeah, of course, there still be ups and downs, but that's the general energetic um, pattern here. If it's in work, it has the opportunity to deliver the resources that you need or the work-life balance to provide you with that beautiful life. So this is a, such a blessed opportunity, guys. What can I say? Um, it really says that you should really consider this and, can, and follow your intuition and the callings of your heart to move towards this because it's got blessing and abundance written all over it. Okay, Virgo, well, I'm going to leave it there and I hope you enjoyed this reading. Keeping in mind it is a general reading for the collective, so um, it won't resonate for all of you and can't possibly. 
but do leave me a comment if you're cool to share because I read them all and try to interact with you over there. It does help me get to know you guys and connect you with, with your energy and see what the collective themes are. It's been a pleasure to read your cards, Virgo. See you back here for another one next week. Bye for now.